Students at a Queens high school got a front row seat to the future of firefighting. The FDNY's robotics unit rolled in with some high-tech gear, showing them how it's used to help save lives. Elle McLogan covers Queens and has the story from Rockaway Park. Amira Latouche got her first robot at age six. I got it for one of my birthdays and I built it with one of my uncles. And I, just, I just thought it was a really cool process. I was really happy as a parent to watch. That's why her mom says the Scholars Academy seventh grader has been looking forward to this day, a visit from the robotics unit of the FDNY. We utilize drones and robots to provide just that extra layer of safety to be able to see the back of the building to help the chiefs make decisions. We're really excited to be the first school in the district to host this event and be able to hopefully share this with other schools. Principal Smythe says it's about sparking curiosity in a school that celebrates STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And I hope that they're inspired to continue their studies. Students in math and robotics clubs tell us they never imagined their passions could lead to a career with the fire department. An opportunity for people to get into, you know, EMT and emergency medical training. An instant crowd pleaser is the robot dog. <laughs> it's a Dalmatian. And it's a Dalmatian. <laughs> Hazardous materials responses building collapses, uh, emergencies in the subway systems. Uh, these dogs are actually very good at walking inside the, on the subway tracks. I feel like it's, um, it's kind of cute. Does anyone ever say that? Uh, most of the time, creepy. <laughs> Thermal imaging can help locate people in distress. People always talk about how much we rely on technology now, but they don't really realize like how much good it can do. In this gym, Lieutenant Carlson sees the future of public service. I know some of the children here could be designing the next drones that we buy for the FDNY, and I would love to have that influence on somebody's young life. In Queens, L. McLogan, CBS News, New York. Elle lives in Queens and she covers the borough for us. If you have a story idea, scan the QR code on your screen.